What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to learn how to display our system and hardware information using python so let us get right into it all right so the goal of this video is to display hardware and system information using python and for that we're going to make use of four different python modules three of those are going to be external one is going to be part of the core python stack so you don't need to install it and one is going to be Windows specific, the other three are going to be platform independent. Uh, we're going to use many different modules because, or four different modules, because they overlap in functionality to some degree, but one module can do something that the other three modules cannot do. And because of that, we're going to play around with them. If you build an actual application, you will probably write your own interfaces or use one of the modules or two of the modules but we're going to play around with all four of them today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up the command line and you want to type pip install and the module um, that we're going to install first is psutil. This is a module that we have already used in the CPU and RAM usage tutorial uh, or CPU and RAM usage monitor tutorial on this channel. Uh, then we're going to also install the py-cpu info so not just cpu info we're going to import cpu info but we have to install uh, pi dash cpu info and then we're also going to install wmi for those of you who are working on windows because wmi doesn't work for uh linux or mac now i think those should work for linux and mac i'm not 100 percent sure but this one definitely only works on windows and uh, those are the three libraries that we're going to install and the core Python library that we're going to use is called platform. So we're going to import platform, platform, we're going to import psutil, we're going to import uh, CPU info and come on, CPU info, and we're going to import WMI. So those are the full libraries. Let's start with a core Python one. This gives us some information here about, uh, first of all, I think the uh, architecture of the machine. So whether it's, I think, 64 bit or 32 bit, so we can go ahead and say architecture and then use an F string here. And inside of the curly brackets, we have to type platform dot architecture to get the respective uh, info here. So 64 bit windows. This is the info about that. Uh, then we can do the same thing with a bunch of things. So for example, we can say network name. This is um, this is not anything hardware related. This is basically what your computer is called in the network. So usually also the same thing that you see in the Linux uh, terminal on Windows. So when I open up the Windows subsystem, I see desktop, whatever. And I think that's the same thing as the network name. We're going to find out here. Uh, or actually it's called note. Notice the command, notice the function to display the network name. And then we can also... Uh, display the operating system. So platform dot, uh, dot platform. And here you can see now this is the network name, this is the architecture and this is the exact operating system. Uh, actually, oh uh, yeah, I have Windows 10. For a second I thought that I have Windows 11, but I have Windows 10, so that's fine. Um, that's one thing that you can do. Also, we can get information about the processor by typing print. And then uh, why is this lagging now? Come on. Uh, we, we can type here processor. And then platform dot processor. But as far as I remember, this is not the most detailed information. So you can only see here AMD 64 family 25 model. 33, but it doesn't uh, tell me that it's a Ryzen 7 um, of this model and uh, with that uh, frequency and all that. So it just gives me some basic information here. If I want to have more detailed information on the CPU, this is what I will use CPU info for. So I can go ahead and say now um, my underscore CPU info, for example, is going to be CPU info dot get CPU info. And um, then I can say, for example, print, what do I want to have this, the full CPU name and the full CPU name. Let's do this in an F string. The full CPU name is my CPU info. And then this is a dictionary. So let me just comment this out real quick. If I print my CPU info, you're going to see, um, 
that this is a dictionary that we can access here. So you have the Python version that you can ask for, you have the CPU version, uh, a bunch of other things here, a lot of information. Uh, so you have to access the keys in order to get the values and the key for the actual CPU name, as far as I've written it down here, because I have some notes on my second screen, because these commands are not always intuitive. As you can see, note is the network name and platform is the operating system. But for the brand for the actual uh, for the actual CPU name, you have to say brand underscore raw. And then this should display the full CPU name. There you go. AMD Ryzen 7 5 1800 eight core processor. This is the exact processor I have. Um, then we can also look up the actual uh, frequency. So we can say HZ underscore actual friendly friendly basically means that it's represented friendly. So not, uh, not with a 1000 zeros. And then we can also say advertised advertised friendly. So there will be a small difference, I guess. You can see that this is the actual uh, rate, this is the actual hertz and or gigahertz in this case, and this is what it, what was advertised. So this is higher than that. So this is how you get the basic CPU info. Again, as I mentioned, you can just uh, go ahead and print the keys if you want to just uh, if, if you want to see what the keys are. So what kind of values you can access, you can see here, all the things that you can look at regarding the CPU. Uh, if you want to get some information on the RAM, so how much RAM the system has, what you can do is you can say print PSUtil. This is basically what we did uh, in the CPU and RAM usage um, monitoring tutorial. But instead of getting uh, instead of getting the actual current usage of the RAM, we're going to get the total value. So we're going to say dot total. And this will give us I think the bytes. So those are the bytes in order to get the gigabytes. Uh, what we do is we say divided by 1024 divided by 1024 divided by 1024. Uh, of course, you can just say 1024 to the power of something but this here now is kilobytes megabytes gigabytes. So if I run this, we should see something around 16 gigabytes. There you go. This is how you can do that. Uh, and of course, you can also format this in a better way if you want to. So we can say here, total RAM, and then this here in curly brackets. And we can say colon point to F to get two decimal places of accuracy. And here you can see now, and of course, maybe you want to add gigabyte in the end as well. So that you know what you're displaying here. But yeah, this is how you can do that. Um, what else can we do now if we want to have the GPU info? This is the reason why we have the last module, the WMI module, if you want to have detailed GPU information, you probably have to use this one or another library that is not listed here. But these three do not give you uh, extensive uh, GPU information. So what we can do here is we can say, okay, PC is equal to WMI, WMI, and then I can say, uh, first of all, I can say OS info equals PC win 32 underscore operating system. It's very hard to memorize these commands. So without notes, I would not be able to do this tutorial. Um, but this is how you get the actual operating system. So the idea here is that you can't uh, that, that you always have to specify a name, and then you uh, like the function name what you want to have. And then you say the first one because you get a list. So I can actually show you um, first of all, let's print the PC as well here, print the OS info. And I don't know, okay, this one cannot be printed. But the OS information that you can see here is very detailed. So you can see exactly what I have here. Uh, you can see that this is the Microsoft Windows uh, 10 Pro Education Edition, all that. So a lot of information about my system, a lot of detailed information. Now I closed my Python file. Um, way more information that you get from those three libraries here. And also we can get some basic um, processor information. So we can say PC win 32 underscore processor zero. This will give us information on the processor. So 
uh, instance of Windows 32 processor. You can see here the caption. You can see uh, also the device ID or the cache size is also something that is important. Um, yeah. And then this is the final thing. This is what we actually need this library for. We can also access the GPU information. So Win32 and then we want to have uh, the GPU underscore or actually no, it's a video controller. Sorry, uh, video controller. And this gives us again this whole um, this, this whole uh, where is it down here? Sorry. Uh, this gives us this whole dictionary and here we have the name. So this is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. This is my GPU. And we can also just get the name only by saying dot name. And we can do the same thing here for the CPU. There you go. Dot dot name. AMD Ryzen 7 5800 and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. And of course, there are also more functions that you can use. I would recommend checking out the documentation. But now you have the basic tools to get hardware information. You can now uh, build a simple Python script that displays the basic information of a Windows system if you want to, so that you can just uh, run it automatically, get the most important information. You can build a command line application around it if you want to. You can also build a graphical user interface around it. But with those three, uh, four libraries actually, you can get all the information and I think on Windows this one could even be sufficient but it's not platform ind independent so yeah. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below and of course don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.